The vehicle is at calibration level. A wheel alignment check has been carried out. The long-range sensor can now be adjusted. First, mount the guide rods on the quick clamps of the front wheels, on the driver side and the passenger side. The guide rods are used later to align the adjustment tester, now a visual inspection of the radar sensor. Are the bolts and connector properly seated? The distance between the plastic clip and the sensor should be about 2 mm and the surface should be free of dirt. The optical calibration device should be checked before use. A correct setting can only be guaranteed when the laser meets the crosshair. If this is the case, coat the rubber lip of the suction cup with Vaseline. The Vaseline ensures that it is properly seated on the radar sensor. The spirit level is always at the top when mounting on the sensor. The device is secured using a manual vacuum pump to a pressure of 600, 700 millibar. Don't forget, attach the fastening strap to the vehicle. This prevents damage to the optical calibration device. The calibration device is now powered up, either externally or via the cigarette lighter in the car. The headlamp adjustment tester and the guide rods are now used. Use the guide rods and the overhead mirror to align the light box parallel to the guide rods. The guide rods must coincide with the black line in the overhead mirror. Vertical positioning is then done by raising the tester. When adjusting the radar sensor, it is important that the headlamp range adjustment be set to zero. Use a lamp to read off the point of incidence of the laser beam in the tester. Turning adjustment screw 3A at the top, right moves the light spot horizontally towards the center of the crosshair. It is adjusted vertically by turning adjustment screw 3C at the bottom left. Screw 3B is not used for calibration. When the light spot of the laser beam is on the crosshair, the setting on the radar sensor is correct. The optical calibration device has done its job, so it can be removed. For the next step, all traces of Vaseline must be removed. The learned values stored in the sensor must now be reset with star diagnosis. From the last screen used, go back to Move to Calibration Level with F1 and to Menu Item Current Quick Test, Filter Status of All Control Units. Select the item DTR, Distronic, Confirm with F3. The subsequent message 2 is confirmed with F2. In the menu, select Initial Startup. Activate the sequence with F3, click F2 again to launch the automated process. If the initial startup was successful, the long-range sensor should work properly again.